Hello and welcome to this webinar from Santico. Coming up today, how to solve seven and a half common problems for your Sage 50 customers. This is a very special webinar, uh, especially for Sage partners who work with Sage 50. That's Sage 50 Accounting US Edition, Sage 50 Accounting Canadian Edition, or Sage 50 Accounts in the UK or Ireland. My name is Hugh Johnson. I'm the Senior Vice President of Business Development at Santico. And if you'd like to get in touch with me after this webinar about partnership opportunities, you can reach me on the common social networks, Twitter, LinkedIn and Google+, or also by email at hugh.johnson at santico.com. This webinar will last for 30 minutes, and there are really three things I want to cover. One is to give you an overview of what Santico is and whom it is for, to give you some kind of sense of positioning within your own customer base, and then take a deeper dive, although it can't be too deep in 30 minutes, a deeper dive into the seven and a half common problems that I alluded to and how Santico addresses those for your customers. And then finally, how to engage with us as a Santico advisor. And for those that, those of you that have uh, looked at us before and looked at the program before, actually we've simplified it uh, dramatically to, to really make it easier for you to come on board. One of the biggest problems facing companies today is the problem of productivity and a problem, the killer of productivity, that is looking for information in order to do your job effectively. And in fact, McKinsey Global Institute did a study a couple of years ago and they concluded that the average knowledge worker can spend up to a day a week simply searching for the information that they need in order to do their job effectively. Now, the unfortunate thing is that this is not even this problem of productivity and this problem of finding information is not evenly spread. It actually hits small to medium sized companies worst of all. Companies employing say 10 to 100 people. Companies right in the heartland of large Sage 50 user by territory. And it is specifically for these companies that's, that we've uh, targeted uh, Santico. So if you're wanting a brief positioning in terms of what Santico is I would describe it as a genuine new alternative to a traditional CRM system, but specifically for business-to-business -business companies that do a lot of repeat trading with the same customers and vendors and whose frontline staff often struggle to find the information they need to serve their customers effectively. And what's unique about Santico is it's the only online system of its kind that plugs directly into Sage 50 accounting software and is incredibly easy to roll out across the across the whole company. Now if we're trying to solve the basic problem of finding information across the company or the basic question what's going on across my company and with my key customer relationships we've taken inspiration not from other CRM systems out there or for, from other ERP or accounting systems out there. We've actually taken inspiration from the system that is used on a daily basis by over 700 people worldwide, that is Facebook. And the big thing about Facebook is that those 700 million people that log on every single day onto Facebook, they don't go diving deep into Facebook to try and find some stuff. The really, really nice thing about Facebook is that the key information that is relevant to that individual user is present, presented straight to them in their timeline. This happens to be my timeline from earlier on uh, this afternoon and that information right there is very relevant because the girl in that picture is going to be one of my competitors this weekend in the Leinster Fireball Championships. So that leads us ni nice and neatly into 
the problem of finding information and actually if you can turn it on on its head and you say well actually surely the best solution to try and find information across your company is to have the information find you that's actually what we've attempted to do with Santico and the Santico wall so this is like the kind of number one thing that it solves but before I just go into that I just explain a little bit about what what Santico is providing and, and, and how it works. It's a web based system that plugs into your Sage fifty accounting software. And as your Sage fifty accounting software is updated through some rather clever connected technology, that data is published up into Santico securely so that you can access that information through our web based portal. And so we have your accounts information, your contacts, your trading information um the the invoices the orders and, and 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 so on and so forth that's all published up and as your sage 50 is updated so is santico updated too you can set you can set your preferences in terms of how often that's updated and and and, and so on so if we go back to our our first problem and having the information find you and that's done through my wall which I'm going to present here. And the concept is very sim simple. It's the same idea, really, as Facebook, where instead of just following other users on the system, I follow other entities within the system. So I might follow customers, I might follow transactions. I might also, of course, follow uh, other other users on the system. I might follow lists of, of accounts or customers that meet certain criteria. So through choosing what I want to follow, that information is then presented to me in my own personalized timeline, in my own personalized stream. So actually this view here is personal to me and anybody else that logs into Santiga would actually get a different view of the world based on their own particular preferences. So that's number one of the seven and a half reasons why your customers may want to uh, look at Santico. Number two is the idea of dynamic lists, and this is particularly useful, you know, if you're dealing with, you know, very large numbers of customers or very large numbers of transactions, and you might have a particularly narrow view on the world for the job that you you do. And so, one of the really nice things within Santico is that you can create personalized lists which is effectively a, a, a kind of dynamic filter of, of the Sage information and other information you have in the system that's pulled, pushed up to you. So here I'll just pick on one simple example. Customers with a balance exceeding $10,000. Know, so it could, could be relevant to somebody in charge of collections, for example. And what I see here is I've got one, two, I've got four customers with a balance exceeding uh, $10,000. and if those balances drop below ten thousand they'll they'll drop off the list and that's that's nice for me looking after collections that information is very very quick to find and easy to find but one of the other nice things here you see this uh, icon here where I say following I'm following the list and that's a kind of auto follow which means that I'm automatically following these clients because they have a balance exceeding ten thousand dollars. If their balance drops below ten thousand dollars, then I don't know. I no longer need to follow them, and that I won't follow them. So, basically, what that means, if I go back to my wall, what it means, if there's any update done to those customers, that update will automatically appear in my feed in my wall. Now I can drill down to the customer record and look up that look at those details as well, but it, but I don't have to because it's fed straight into my timeline. So that's the, the second reason, or the second problem, that uh, Santico might solve uh, for your for your customers. Now the next one I want to talk about is actually a bigger one, and it, and this is this is probably actually the single biggest reason why uh, people buy Santico, and it's to make your Sage data available beyond the finance team. And a very common scenario that we come across, and in fact, it's it, it's it's 
not just making it beyond available beyond the finance team it's making it available beyond the walls of the company because a very common scenario that we come up against uh, companies that have independent sales reps that are out on the road and what the companies want to do is they want to be able to publish detailed view into individual customer accounts and, and, and transactions to those sales reps without giving access to the rest of the business. And we do that in, in Santico by a kind of layered structure. So we de define territories into which we can allocate accounts and then for each individual user you can define what company they can have, a have, have access to as in if you're operating a multi-company uh, Sage 50 system whether or not you want to allow the user to access all accounts with the system whether or not you want to allow them to access just their own accounts or, or whether or not you want to allow them to access all the accounts within a given territory so in this particular example I've got a user Derek Gross that is allowed to see Bellweather Garden supply accounts but just his own accounts okay and we'll just take a quick look at what that means. So I'm going to log out as Dolores. And I will log back in as Derek Gross. You can see the user interface is pretty similar, um, but actually, instead, whenever I go, if I go pull up my accounts list, all I can see are the accounts that I deal with, and in this case, I just get six records. Whereas, actually, if I logged in as as the previous user, I get all 65 ac accounts that are in the system. So, as Derek Gross, he might be. An internal sales guy or it might be an independent sales guy it doesn't matter um, the account allocation is pulled straight from sage in the R rep field uh, within within uh, sage against the account record and that determines that Derek can only see this set of accounts within the system now the next thing I want to talk about is now that we've published the Sage data beyond the finance team into the sales, typically into the sales team, is then, well, of course, salespeople will want more than just the Sage data in there. So the next thing we do is we solve the problem of actually delivering a company wide contact database uh, across the business. And again, we'll look at that from Derek's. Point of view. So here we are logged in as, as Derek Gross. And it's very, very simple. If I want to add a prospective account that I'm, I'm working on, I can put in all the details here. You know, the primary contact, primary address, the account name, and, and so on. It doesn't actually need an awful lot of detail to save the record. I can come back and embellish that later as I get more details. And I can save that, and that'll be a new prospective account that I, Derek Gross, is working with working with. That is not pushed back into Sage and you don't want that to be pushed back into Sage because Derek might be working with 15, 20, 30 prospective accounts that never end up as customers. But then if as a business later on, I'm just going to log off as Derek and log on as log back on as the administrator just to show you this. Of course it is important that if the prospective client does become a Sage 50 customer, it is important that you're able to to, to reconcile those records. So, within the um, uh, uh, management area and settings area of the, of the system, what you can do is you can merge records. So, I can merge accounts, I can merge contacts, and this gets rid of any duplicate records you might have in the system. So, if I had a prospective account. Derek Gross was working on what I and th that becomes a customer set up in Sage. I use this utility here to set basically to say those two account records are the same, 
And the great thing about that is that all the previous history that Derek had, all the previous notes that he had against the customer record, they're all carried forward and they're visible for the rest of the company to see as that as that client becomes a full uh, full customer. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is, of course, on, on the context of extending your Sage data, is that it's not just about Sage 50 data. In fact, in most companies, something 80, 90 percent, and in fact, growing a growing proportion, it's already at 80 or 90 percent of your data, is I suppose what a lot of people would call unstructured data. It's comments, it's discussions, it's notes, it's files, it's pictures, and so on, about your business. And the actual proportion of your business data, that is your Sage 50 records, is actually shrinking as a proportion of your overall data within the company. Now what Centico does is it provides a facility for you to, for you to link all this together so you can still have it all held together as one company-wide database that everybody can access and everybody can see. And that's done in a, in a very simple way and it's done through this through the, the wall feature that I spoke about earlier. And basically you can add files, you can add attachments, you can add notes, um, you can add spreadsheets, um, here are the latest sales for cast figures. And I can share that with a particular user on the system, system if I wanted. And that keeps it all together. Or I could attach a purchase order uh, document or a purchase requisition to a purchase order in Sage. Um, and really what it enables me to do is that it ha I, I can add files, I can add notes, I can add photos, I can create discussions, and they're all linked, or can be linked if I want to, if it's relevant, I can link them to my Sage 50 record. So all I need to do to link it to a, a Sage 50 record, is I can just type, if I want to link it to an invoice, just start typing um, the invoice and it pulls up, and that automatically links this comment, you know, this needs to be paid now. Um, it automatically links that information and I can drill straight down to the detailed record from my wall or anybody else that, that wants to see it. So it's a short little demo of that but it's actually probably one of the most important things because as I say 80 to 90 percent of an SMB's information is in this kind of note unstructured form as opposed to the formal Sage records but it may well be related to to that and, and Centico can hold all, all that together for you. The sixth reason why uh, a company may want to use Centico or the problem they may want to solve is kind of related to this but it's managing tasks and events so once you've got all this data, of course you want to do something with it. And again, we're talking about companies that employ, say, 10 to 100 people. And these tend to be companies that, I suppose, are halfway between the complete kind of ad hoc informality that you get in a micro business and the, the very formal structures you'd have in a very large business. And we've tried to reflect that uh, within Santico. Um, so what we've added within Santico is the, ability, is the ability to create tasks that relate to your entities within the system. So you can create tasks relating to an invoice or relating to an account or relating to any record within the system and you can assign those tasks to other users on the system or you can obviously just keep track of them as, as tasks for yourselves. Um, and what it, what it does is it be, kind of becomes a a very simple kind of ad hoc workflow type system without the, the complexity that would be associated with a lot of kind of traditional workflow systems. So I can control the default values 
of those tasks um, in here. So I've just, for the purposes of demonstration, I've got an approval task, a collections task, and a sales lead a handling task. But I can I can add other kind of generic tasks and task category, categories if I want. As well as tasks, I can create events within the system. Now, tasks and events are very similar, but an event happens at a specific time. Okay, but again, the nice thing about this is that I c I can create particular types of event. So if I wanted to record all the times that I go out onto a customer site for routine maintenance or service, I can create an event called routine maintenance and service. And any time that I go out, I can log that into my system against the customer record. So I have I have a formal log of that there, and it's it's it can sit there against the customer record, and I, and I can find that for later billing purposes if I need. The seventh reason or problem that you might want to use Santico to solve for your customers is the really obvious one of mobile or, or remote access and this kind of speaks for itself so I don't really need to demonstrate this um, because Santico is a web-based system it, uh, it it can be accessible through any device that, that has access to the web uh, it works extremely well on iPads and, and kind of larger format systems because it's presenting a lot of information um, I would recommend an iPad over a, over a smartphone, but it works as well on over a smartphone as well. So, so it solves that problem, or or in terms of providing information to remote offices and and, and people in and maybe a head, remote head office. Now, I guess you've all been wondering what the half reason is, the seven and a half reason, um, and it, it, you could actually argue it's the biggest reason, but it, but it. it depends on the context and that's the possibility to have actually unlimited users on the system as in there I mean subject of course to the plan that you take out with Santico but because it's up on a the data is up on a scalable cloud database there aren't any user limits based on technology it's just purely based on the subscription you take out with us so if you had to have 200 people that you need to deliver access to your Sage 50 data, you can, and you can with Santico. So those are seven and a half problems, or seven and a half reasons why your customers, your Sage 50 customers, may may want to engage with Santico. Now, what about you engaging with us as a Santico advisor? Well, in the past, I confess that we perhaps made it a little bit difficult. Um, in terms of perhaps expecting you to learn all the ins and outs of Santico, which can be challenging because the product is is being enhanced extremely rapidly and very very quickly, um, and we know that you're all very busy. So through engagement with our early advisors on the program, actually what we've done is we've modified the program somewhat to make it very easy for you to engage with us. And really, all we're asking you to do is refer your customers. Refer your customers to our website and to events like this, or to customer events. This is a, an event for partners. And basically what we do is when you sign up as a Santico advisor, we provide you with a URL, a link that is personal to you, that you can refer them to any aspect of our site the home page, the blogs, or, or whatever. And that is there's a tracking code on that URL that we can track back to you. And that drops, a, when the visitor comes to our site, that drops a cookie onto our site. And we will track that activity for six months. And if within a six month period of, of the customer landing on our site, they end up signing up with us as a customer, you'll get full credit for that sale. And um, we also provide coupon codes for special events like webinars. So again, so that you can invite your customers, we'll provide you with the materials, the marketing materials, the e-marketing e materials, website content if you want to put it up. And for those of you that have active blog blog posts, we're more than happy to write guest 
guest posts on your, on, on your blogs as well. So actually we're making it very simple. We'll just provide you with this link and you can share uh, content and news about Centico with your customers and anyone that clicks through to our site we can track back to you as as a referred customer from you. Now the good news is then we've made that very easy. If the customer registers interest we look after taking the customer, getting them on board, getting them up and running, getting them trained, getting them happy. So you don't actually have to worry about that. And we haven't, although we've made the work lighter for you, we haven't adjusted the commission plan. So within the commission plan we still have a scheme where we can pay you up to 30% up to rolling commission for any sales that come from your customers. And this includes any subsequent sales, any upgrades and so on. It's, it's, it is a sliding scale. It depends on the on the growth of the business coming from your customer base. But we can pay you up to 30% on the business coming from you. Plus another 2.5% from the business coming from any other advisors that you introduce to us who then generate business from their customers. So I think that's a, it's actually a very good deal for you. And really what we're providing is a facility for you to harvest a much greater value from your customer base without you having to uh, learn the ins and outs of installs and configurations and setup and, and everything because we can actually look after that for you. So that's in, in summary basically um, really what I wanted to cover today. I've introduced Santico for whom it is whom it is for as i say it's ideally placed for a business to business sage 50 customer because of the collaboration aspect to it it doesn't really make sense pitching santico at a at a company that has less than less than 5 employees and it's really better at kind of 10 employees and more in fact our, our biggest interest seems to come from companies with large distributed independent sales uh, sales forces. I've covered seven and a half common problems that we solve and engaging with Santico as a, a Santico advisor and in fact how to do it, I didn't do that, it's actually very simple. All you do is go to our website and you see the advisors tab at the top, click on that and there's a form at the bottom that you just, just fill out. There's some additional video and resources you can watch there if you want. But there's a form at the bottom of this page. You can just fill out and submit that. And then if you're an existing Sage 50 partner, you're automatic, automatically qualify for the program and we can get, get you on board very quickly. So that's the end of the formal part of the presentation. I'd like to ask if there are any questions from anybody. Uh, before we wrap up, as I say, you can you can always send me a note afterwards. Um, actually, if you have any questions, if you type them into into your box, into your chat box at the bottom, and I can address them. Okay, I have one one question I see has come up. Do we have any plans for uh, native apps? Um, within iPhones, iPads and the like. Uh, the short answer to that is yes but not quickly. Um, we've got a lot of other priorities uh, uh, that we're addressing before that. Um, so yes we will but not, uh, not immediately. And okay I've got one, another question in terms of versions. Um, the Santico works with Sage 50 US uh, 2014 and 2015 up to the latest version. It works with Sage 50 Canadian edition uh, 2014. Uh, the, there were some issues with the, tw the very latest 2015 release. I have another question which has come up as well. What is the cost to the customer? Um, well, probably the easiest way to answer that is because it's it's all up on the website. At the moment, the pricing plans are very simple. Um, they, they 
will evolve and in fact this autumn this fall I do intend to modify them but at the moment it's based on user bands and you can go up to two users up to 10 users up to 20 users up to 40 users and I haven't put the table on yet but there's going to be a, a, an over over 40 users which will be a price on application the price displayed is on US dollars uh, the, the display prices per month just for easy comparison with other systems out there the customers are actually billed annually in advance uh, much the same way as as they're used to paying for for, for, for Sage 50 at the moment um, and uh, we will be introducing later we will be introducing setup fees and stuff like that but at the moment any customers that come on board uh, get that free of charge okay I don't have any other questions at the moment um, I'd like to thank you all for your attention I will send you a note with a link to the video and please if you if you think this is of interest to you please register and we'll get you on board thanks for your time <laughs>